Hi, welcome to Vera Yoga with Andrea. Today's show is going to be done on the floor, so if you are at your office and you've just tuned into this, you can save this, maybe download it or earmark it for another time, watch it when you get home. If you're at home right now and you're tuned me in, make some room, spread, you know, move some furniture, get down on the floor with me. We're going to start here. I've got a, a mat and a blanket because it's a hard floor. So if you are practicing on a wood floor, use your yoga mat and use a blanket. You're going to need a strap today. So if you don't have a strap, grab a, a tie off your bathrobe or maybe if you do have a strap and you don't have it with you, just go grab it now. And because that's, we're going to do a very yoga sequence that's going to stretch out our legs. You know, sometimes we have tight hamstrings or um, quadriceps and these are the quadricep muscles here, your thighs and the hamstrings in the back of your thighs. And when those are tight, that, those govern the back and sometimes you can't bend forward very well or you start to get tension in your low back. So I'm going to show you a very yoga sequence that helps stretch those out. We're also going to do a couple other Vera Yoga sequences. And if you're new to what Vera Yoga is about, it's a style that I created with co-founder with uh, Brian Fowler, who sometimes you see him on the show with me. And we decided that Vera Yoga needed to be out there in the world because it's, it's accessible to everybody and sustainable to everybody. There are different styles of yoga practice that sometimes people can't do because they're just more advanced or they're just, um, they're just they're too hot or they're too strenuous. So fairy yoga is done in a way that adapts to you. So not one size fits all. And as we say, one journey, many paths. We're all on the journey of trying to be healthy. And there's many ways to go about that. So commit to be fit and join me today to help yourselves get on that path of wellness. Take a comfortable seat like I'm doing. If you haven't gotten on the floor yet, you've just tuned in. Join me here. Sit cross-legged or sit with your legs out in front of you like this. If cross-legged is not accessible to you, you can sit like this. You can sit on a pillow. Find what works for you. And set your hands on your thighs. And for a few moments here, close your eyes. We always do that just to kind of dial in to being here, to take a moment to, to be practicing with me. If you, I know some of you do watch this show every morning with me. Thank you for that. So let's close our eyes and begin to be aware of the, your breath, breathing in and out through your nose, relaxing your jaw, eyes are soft and just eyelids closed gently. Just feel the way the breath lifts your torso, fills your lungs. One thing that's free in this world is breath. You know, the water, you have to pay for water, you have to pay for food, but you can breathe fully and easily without having to pay for it. Good. So just open your eyes gently. Yeah, and we're gonna just do a few neck rolls here to release tension. I don't know where you are today, where your practice is, but slowly bring your chin forward, and all you're gonna do is start to roll your head around many different moves we can do to help release tension out of our neck and this is one of them just circling your head around go one more time in one direction where way you started and then pause and circle the other way yeah just this little movement right here you pay attention where how does it feel in your neck how does it feel in your shoulders yeah Pause and bring your head back to neutral. Let's inhale, bring our shoulders up towards our ears. Just get some tension released out of the neck and shoulders before we get down on our backs. We're gonna lie down on the floor. Good, one more time. And we'll move then from the seated position to on our backs. So I want you to just come and turn sideways. And so you can still see the screen. That's what I want you to do, set yourself up so you can still see the screen. I'm gonna lie down on my back. I'm gonna start out with my knees bent. You start out with your knees bent as well. A couple more shoulder things here before we get into our legs. I want you to take your arms straight up towards the ceiling and then just gently release your arms out and open to the side with your palms facing up and then bring them back together. So we're starting to move those shoulder muscles. Open them again. Bring them back up. And one more time. Good. And 
back up. Now this is a side opening of your arms. I'm gonna take them overhead. Watch where my thumbs go. I want your thumbs go towards the floor and then bring your arms back up. Just keep the palms facing each other. Spread your fingers and then take your hands overhead. Thumbs touch down. Bring them back up. Good. And once more. Overhead. That's it. Just to warm up our shoulders before we move into this nice leg stretch. So this, find your belt. We're going to move into this now. And you're going to take your belt, fold it in half, and place it around the ball of your right foot and extend your right leg up in the air. Notice that I have the strap even on both sides of my foot and I'm going to reach my hands up towards my right foot and then slide them back down till my shoulders touch the floor but my elbows are still bent and out to the side. And then you're going to straighten your left leg to the floor. Now as you do that, if it starts to pull too much in the back of your right leg, your right knee, keep your left knee bent. So you do two ways. That's the beauty about very yoga is you can vary the pose to fit you. So if it's, again, if the it's too in intense for the right leg with your left leg on the floor, keep the knee bent. You find what works for you. And then slowly pull your right leg towards you. Check into your neck and shoulders. You want to relax your jaw, relax your neck, and just gently pull on the strap. Don't bounce, just a steady, even pull. Your foot is flexed, you're extending, you're stretching your Achilles and your calf muscle. Elbows are out to the side, shoulders are relaxed. Good, that's it. So I keep, I'm keeping my one, my other leg knee bent for now, for this part of the stretch. But again, I said you can, I invite you to take your leg straight if you wish. Yep. A couple more deep breaths. I, at home when I practice this, I hold each part of the sequence for about three full breaths. And a full breath is an inhalation and an exhalation. So let's now place the strap, put it into your right hand. Before you start taking the leg out to the side, first extend your left arm on the floor, and if your knee is bent, straighten your leg to the floor. Press your heel down, your calf muscle down, anchor into your hip, and now slowly release your right leg over to the side. Notice I'm going to bring my elbow down to support my leg. So you want to keep this leg anchored to the floor. Let your head release to the floor, and you're just extending out through your right leg. This gives a good inner thigh stretch. I'm reaching from my left arm, from my shoulder to my hand. Nice, steady inhalation and exhalation. It's one of my favorite sequences because it really works your whole leg and works your hips, stretches your ankles, stretches your foot. Good. And now on your next inhale, you bring your leg back up, your right leg up, put the strap into your left hand. And watch what we're going to do here. We're going to first extend your right arm out to the side and then pull that right leg up and over across your body, creating a deep twist for your torso. And I roll to the outside of my left foot, but I keeping, try and keep your torso facing straight up towards the ceiling. And breathe. This is a deep twist for your lower abdomen. Helps with digestion, helps keep a, a, st a stable metabolism increases your metabolism. In fact, if you do more twists in your life, you will find that it helps with your digestive system and also helps with the metabolism. Good. And now on your next inhale, you'll bring that leg back up and put the strap back into your hand, your right hand. Bend your left knee. Now let's everybody do that. And you're going to now bend the right knee, pull it towards your armpit and then straighten. So do this with me about three times. You bend the knee, keep the shin perpendicular to the floor, and then straighten, good. And again, exhaling, the knee comes down. Inhaling, straighten your leg. One more time now. Keep the knee bent, and then take the strap off your foot and bring this foot over to the front of your left thigh. We're going to thread our hands through and grab the back of your thigh or the front of your shin. Or if you're new to this, use your strap. Watch what you can do. I can do the strap. I can thread it through and just hold the shin with my strap. You try that. It makes it more accessible for you. The shoulders stay on the floor. You want to prevent, you don't want to round up. You want to keep your head down and your back down. Good. Pull your knee to your chest. 
Use the strap or just your hands. Yes, good. This is a great release for your low back, for your hip. And now straighten your right leg back to the ceiling and hug this left knee in closer to your ribs. Flex your right foot. So what should I do? I'm going to pull my toes towards my face. Do that too. Flex your foot and then point your foot. This is on the leg that's straight up in the air. Flex and then point. Good. And again, flex. Ah, oh, you're working your Achilles, your calf muscle, and point. That's it. One more time. Now in the flex position, lower your leg all the way to the floor. As if you're pushing through the heel. So if someone was there holding your heel, guiding your leg down. Good. Once you feel it touch down to the floor, inhale, bring it back up again. Good. Take it down on the exhale. Straight leg. Hugging your left thigh to your chest. Inhale, back up. And once more, lower it down. And bring it back up. Good. Let's take it this time all the way to the floor and leave it there. We've got the other side to do. So what you do is find your strap again and we're going to do the left leg. Place the strap around the ball of your left foot, straighten it to the ceiling. And again, separate your strap so it's even on both sides of your foot. Keep the right leg straight on the floor or bend the knee. I'm going to keep my knee bent. You decide what works best for you. Shoulders release towards the floor and gently pull the strap. You're not bouncing. You're not trying to try to pull it bouncing like this. You're keeping an even, steady pull on that strap. Relax your shoulders. Hmm, nice deep breath in and out. It's like at least three full breaths. Sometimes hold it longer, especially if you're in the morning when you've just gotten up and you're doing this and you think, oh, this feels so good. This, if you could encourage yourself to do this at least two or three times a week, your legs will thank you, your whole body will thank you. You're creating circulation into your, into your limbs, into your legs, into your hips, into your pelvis. Good. And now let's put the strap in the left hand. Remember, we take the leg out to the side, but first straighten the other leg to the floor. Extend your arm out to the side so you anchor into that right side of your body and lower your left leg out and over to the left. Good. Check your foot. Make sure it's parallel to the floor. It's not turned down or turned up. You're stretching the inner thigh now. Keep breathing. You've got the strap to support your leg. You've got your elbow down on the floor so you're not over extending the inner thigh. You're putting weight into the right side. Good. One more breath here as your leg is out. And then we're going to use the inhalation to bring your left leg back up. Transfer the strap over to your right hand. Here comes that twist. You extend your left arm and then take the rotate over to your right. Left leg reaches over, stacking your hips, extending through the heel. Breathing, let your little toe of your right foot release to the floor. And let the left shoulder press down into the floor. So you're creating a deep twist for your lower abdomen, just below your waist. Nice full inhale and exhale. When you exhale, draw your navel towards your spine. You might even actually feel a little sh um, release in your low back. It's kind of a chiropractic move you're doing for yourself. Good. And then inhale, bring your left leg back up. Ah. So now let's bend the other knee. So set the right foot on the floor, put the strap into your left hand, and we're going to bend that left knee, pulling it towards your left armpit. Keep your shin perpendicular to the floor. And then inhale, straighten. So look at your leg as you bring it down. How is it in position for you? And then straighten it. And me, the, me, the knee may not come down as far as mine's going. That's okay. Just bring it to a 90 degree, pull it out to the side, and straighten. And again straight and then we're going to keep the knee bent slip your strap off maybe you want to use it on this side so you hold on to it put your left ankle on your right thigh lift your foot off so here's how you can use the strap you thread it or underneath your calf and wrap it around the shin hold one side with the left hand one with the other and just with the right hand and just pull your knee to your chest 
Uh, you might feel a nice release in your low back here. You may feel it more in the hip here, your piriformis. Just pay attention for yourself where this stretch is happening for you. Good. A couple more breaths. Just let the low back melt into the floor. And then you're going to straighten your left leg to the ceiling. Maybe you're still holding the strap or your hands are around your shin. Whatever works for you. You've got the leg straight up in the air. I want you to flex your foot and then point. So this is stretching your calf muscle when you flex, stretching your shin, the front of your shins here when you point, and then flex again and point. Good. You're still hugging the other knee to your chest. A couple more times. This works the foot and the ankle. Good. And then keep your foot flexed and lower it to the floor as you exhale. Once you feel the heel touch down, Inhale, bring it back up again. Let's lower it again, exhaling. And back up. Good. Two more times. Take your leg down. And bring it back up. Once more. Push through the heel as if someone was holding your foot and letting it guide it down to the floor, and then bring it back up again. Good. And now bend both knees and hug them into your chest. Rock a little bit from side to side. Move your strap out of the way, and I'd like you to set your feet back to the floor. If, you have a, if you're on a yoga mat, yay for you. I want you to have your feet on your mat so you have some traction. That's the beauty about yoga mats. They're called sticky mats. They help keep your feet from sliding. And then your knees are bent. This is called the easy bridge sequence, OK? So what I want you to do is keep your feet, your, knee, your ankles right underneath your knees so your shin bones are parallel, perpendicular to the floor. Bring your arms to your side. And all you can do is, on an inhale, push your feet into the floor and slowly lift your hips away from the floor. Now, on this pose, I want you to just keep looking straight ahead. Just listen to my voice instead of looking at the screen and then lower your hips down, because I don't want you to strain your neck or put too much pressure when you're turning your head to the side. So look straight ahead, up to the ceiling. Let's do this together again. Inhale, lift your hips, and exhale, lower back down. Try that one more time. Inhale, lift your hips. Good. And lower back down. All right. Now we're going to bring the arms into play. So I want you to inhale, lift your hips, and lift the right arm overhead. We did this a little earlier. I had you take your thumbs down. But this time, I want you to take the back of your hand to the floor, palm facing up. And then exhale, bring your arm back down with your hips. Inhale, lift the hips, and lift the left arm. Good. And lower back down. Hope you're joining me here. Just listen to my voice, and you'll know what to do. Inhale, take both arms overhead, lift your hips and lower back down, the arms and the hips. Now let's go up again with the arms overhead, hips up. This time leave your arms on the floor, stretching overhead and slowly lower your back down to the floor. Back the hips down all the way. You might feel a little more extension in your spine. And then inhale, lift your hips again. And this time bring the arms with you as you bring your hips back down. Good. Let's do that whole sequence one more time together. Inhale, lift your right arm overhead as your hips go up, and then lower it back down. Let's do the other side. Lift up. Good. I hope you're joining me here. It's great work for your, to strengthen your low back as well as your shoulders. Let's take both arms overhead. Lift your hips. And we're going to bring the arms back down as we slowly roll the spine down to the floor. Good. One more time. Lift the hips and the arms. And this time, leave your arms overhead. As you lower the hips, slowly curling your spine down, stretching into that back. Yeah. And then inhale, lift the hips. And as you come back down, the arms come down. And so do the hips. Ah, oh, great. Draw one knee in and then the other. Just rock from side to side. And I want you to roll over. And we're going to come back to a seated position. So come on up off the floor. Come off your backs. We were down there for a little while. Please join me. Come up to sitting. So I want you to sit with your legs straight out in front of you. This is a pose in yoga called the staff pose, Dandasana. 
look at your feet. I want you to make sure that your feet are just about almost shoulder width apart. Yeah. We need to bend the knees slightly. So bend your knees with me. Good. We're gonna. This is like if you were standing. You're standing on your feet. You bring your arms up, and you're gonna reach for your toes. Can you get your toes? Yeah. I got mine. Did you get yours? So if you're like here going, I can't get my toes. Bend your knees more. The goal is to to hold on to your feet in this. It, just in this one with me today. Okay. And as you inhale, I'm gonna pull against my feet. So pull against your feet and lift your heart. Lift your chest. And then as you exhale, so if you're pushing on the gas or a clutch in your car, push your feet forward and that's gonna pull you forward. Pull your torso forward, yeah. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up. Good. And exhale, fold forward. One more time, lift up and fold forward. So one more for our legs. I want you to do this flow with me. It's called the uh, head to knee or in Sanskrit, Janyushasana flow. So you're gonna bend, I'm gonna mirror you this time since I'm facing you in the screen here. Bend your right knee, good. And then let your knee go float down to the floor and the sole of your foot right to the inside of your left thigh. So that we synchronize this, all these moves with our breath, which is called vinyasa. So you might meet people that tell you they're yoga teachers and they're vinyasa teachers. That's great, because that means that they're teaching you how to move from pose to pro pose with the breath. So here we go. Inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale, fold for your toes. Inhale, come back up. Now as you exhale, twist away from the screen, planting your um, right hand, left hand on your thigh, yep, plant the back hand behind you, and then inhale, lift up, lifting your hips, and then release back down. Do that with me again. Inhale, extend up through the arms parallel beside your head, and fold towards your left toes as you exhale. On the next inhale, bring yourself back up, and then turn and twist as you exhale. Inhale, sweep that left arm overhead, press into your shin, and then exhale back down. Good, one more time on this side. Let's lift up together and fold over your straight leg. Back up again, reach those arms up. Good, and twist away from the screen and sweep your arm overhead, reaching up overhead and then back down, good. Now, that was three times on that side. Let's change sides. So we get this whole routine in before we have to say goodbye. It's amazing how fast it goes. Inhale, extend up, exhale, reach for your toes and then back up again, and then you turn away to your side and then lift up, push into your shin, push into your toes, and release back down. Inhale, hope you're taking time for yourself and doing this with me. Maybe you're just watching it, but you'll go home and practice later. That's good too. And back down once more. We did it three times on the other side. This is the third time for this time, this side. Let's do it together. Yeah, and reach away, lift up, good, and come back down. Thank you, I hope that you did take time for yourself. And what you're gonna do now is come back to sitting cross-legged with me, good. And again, like I said earlier, if sitting cross-legged is not comfortable for you, take your legs out in front, or sit on a pillow, grab a pillow, fold up a blanket. In fact, I'm gonna do that. I'll show you what you can do if you have a blanket, you fold it up, and I'll fold it in thirds. This is gonna give me a little seat to sit on. You can do that, join me like that. That gives you a little more um, room for your hips to release and your thighs to release. Good, all right, a couple more here for our shoulders. We worked our legs, good for you to practice that nice deep leg stretch with me. And take your arms, do a little self hug. So take your right hand over and your left arm Stack them one on top of the other. And inhale, lift your elbows up. And exhale, bring them down. Do that with me again. Inhale, lift up. And release down. And we change arms, so just, just stack the other one on top. Inhale, lift up. And release down. So the practice of yoga helps you stay fit, helps you stay flexible. Let's inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale to your side. 
Getting through that ribs, stretching through the side body. Inhale back up. It helps, you know, for some people it relieves back tension and strain. For others it helps with insomnia. Come on over to your side. I think for all of us, if you practice yoga, it's a great mental release. It's a great equalizer for our emotions. It helps balance our bodies. It's an all around wonderful practice to, to teach yourself to learn. And that's, I'm so glad you do take time and tune in via either the television or online that you practice along with myself, sometimes with myself and Brian, myself and my husband. Very Yoga is accessible to everybody. And I'm grateful that you do take time for yourself and practice. Send me an email sometime. If there's something you want special on the show, let me know and I will create a, a show for you. I remember one time a lady asked if she could have a whole show on ab work. I did a whole show for her on ab work. So send me an email to yogalady at aryoga.com and I will gladly respond and try and work something in for you. And as we say, as we end our classes at the Yoga Center, bring our hands together in front of our heart. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this. This is a gesture of honoring. And it means the Anjali Mudra, to honor and to offer. So I am grateful from my heart to yours that you join me today in this practice of yoga. Namaste. Very Yoga with Andrea is underwritten by the Arkansas Yoga Center. This eco-friendly facility will delight your senses and relax your body and mind. We offer classes in yoga, tai chi, meditation, and yoga teacher training. Our qualified instructors ensure that everyone is safe and comfortable at all class levels. Centrally located in Fayetteville next to Woodland Junior High. Visit us at the Arkansas Yoga Center to renew, refresh, and savor the stillness.